From Slidenerd, this is Waves. If you're a person who was born on February 29, then you may be 60 years old, but you will be celebrating your 15th birthday, right? So, it sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? So, in this video, we are going to see how leap year is tested in Java. It's a simple leap year test. We ask the year 2004, the, the program says, yep, that was a leap year. Then we ask the user, he says 2005, the program says wrong, that's not a leap year. So let's see how this works. If you see these years, 2004, 2008, 12, 16, they all have something in common, the 4, 8, 12, 16. It's multiples of 4, right? So in short, if you divide the number by 4, the remainder is going to be 0, right? If you have 2005, try dividing that by 4, you get a remainder of 1. 6, the same thing, 7, the same thing. But if you again divide 2008 by 4, the remainder is 0, right? So the condition for a leap year is the number divided by 4 should have a remainder of 0. If the remainder is not 0, that means it's not a leap year. So let's go ahead and see how that's work. So here in Java, you have the modulus operator for taking the remainder. You say year person 4, that means you're going to divide by 4 and take the remainder. Is the remainder 0? If the remainder is not 0, there are two things, leap year, no leap year. So go to NetBeans, get this baby up and running. I have nothing here in NetBeans, just an empty project called test. Just a buffered radio statement here for taking input from the user. There's a system.out.println blank empty statement, which has nothing inside. There's a, I have written import over here to tell Java that look, this is buffered reader, this is input stream, stream reader, they are inside java.io. And I have written a throws exception over here to ensure that the compiler can handle any errors. So now let's go ahead. We'll say enter here. Show this in a variable called int. So we'll say read dot read line. Now this is gonna give a string, right? We'll have to type cast this. I may change it to an integer. So we'll say parsint. This parsint is a function that converts string to integer. We'll say integer dot parsint because parsint is inside integer class. The next. Go ahead, now we check if you divide that by 4, find the remainder. If that remainder is 0, else the remainder is 0, we simply say it's a leap year, right? If it's not 0, we can probably say nope, not a leap year. So let's say control S, shift F6. Enter a year, say 2001, nope, not a leap year. Shift F6, enter a year, 2004, yep, leap year. Shift F6, and a year, 2005, not a leap year. So as you can see, this is working, but then there is a small flaw in this program, which I'm going to show you right now. So if you see the calendar for the year 1900, if you see 1900 is perfectly divisible by 4. If you divide by 4, the remainder turns out to be 0. So it is supposed to be a leap year, right? But look at the calendar. It has only 28 days in February, which means it's not a leap year. That means there's a problem with our program, right? This, this error is probably due to a complex rotational stuff about the sun, around the sun with the Earth, right? So I'm going to get into this in some program in a vid called the Advanced Leap Year Test. By then, if you guys understood what you saw, Please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.